Hi. Um, I'm not sure how to start this video, so I'm just going to start it. You know, from time to time, we all do stupid crap. We all do dumb stuff. We all make mistakes, including me. I have made several mistakes. I've done things I know I shouldn't have done. Or I forgot to do something and it ended up hurting us in the end. Well, the thing is, nobody's perfect. And right now, I'm out in the camper doing a test on the AGM battery. Because the last time I hooked up the solar for the um, homeless guy to use, when I came out here to do it, my inverter had been left on, a light had been left on, and my inverter was beeping. Um, low power, low power. It completely wiped that battery. Um, I did try to charge it up. It may or may not work. Um, it only seems to go up to 11.6, 11.7. I think the highest I've seen it was 11.9 volts. Now, is it going to last? I don't know. That was my mistake. That was dumb on my part. But sometimes when I make my videos, I say my piece, I show what I want to show, and then I get in a hurry to end the video. And it's not even on the videos. It's not because of YouTube I do stupid stuff. I make mistakes. We all do. Right now I'm doing a test on the battery. Now, doing it right now is stupid. Because it's 8.30 at night. There's not going to be a whole lot of daylight left. And how am I running a test on this? It's very simple. I have my large Zocop fridge freezer plugged into that battery. And I'm going to see if it'll even last an hour. Um, I believe I can get probably five or six hours out of the battery, considering the, um, it's, I believe it's a 56 quart. Um, like an ARB fridge, 12 volt. I should be able to get, you know, five, six hours runtime out of it, even if the battery's low at 11.9 volts. But the thing is, I don't know if it's 11.9 volts because it's still daylight out. Now, I do have my lights on, and they're running off a different battery. Um, I don't plan on driving my van because the tires, I need tires and the brakes are bad. And so to me it's unsafe to drive. I did take the battery out of my van. It's in here in the camper. I hooked it up to the 100 watt panel out front that um, I'm letting the homeless guy use for charging his stuff. The 30 watt panel is hooked back up to the uh, 10 amp solar charger controller and the small AGM battery that's you know the little bitty one that I show in some of my videos it's a 30 watt watt hour something like that pretty small when I got in a hurry and didn't turn stuff off it drew the battery down that was my mistake that was stupid of me and you know a lot of things I see going on in the world and I'm like how can we deal with this you can't when I took my power stations and did the 10 hour runtime test on both my power stations eight hours yes Either one I knew would handle eight hours running my chest freezer. Pushing ten hours messed up one of the power stations. It does not charge to 100% now. 
Um, I can literally leave that thing plugged in for a week and it will never charge above 99%. Me taking that same power station and plugging into a 100 watt solar panel when it states you can only go up to 70 watts was dumb. But I wanted to see if somebody else ended up with one of these if they could charge it that way. The answer is no, you can't. Now, the second power station I have, it's better built and it handled the 100 watt panel, even though in the paperwork it says up to 90 watts. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Did the second power station, the home years, handle the 100 watt panel? Absolutely, without an issue. Um, the North Pole light did not. So I do stupid stuff. And I see people on YouTube all the time doing really stupid stuff. And the fact is, when it comes right down to it, we're all just human. Every one of us. Doesn't matter what skin color you have, who you're sleeping with, how you dress, how you, what you want to call yourself. It doesn't matter. We're all human. Humans make mistakes and we do dumb crap. Like I said, right now, I'm doing something stupid. I'm running my Zoka uh, 56 quart fridge freezer, basically freezer, ARB fridge, that can go down to minus 4 degrees to become a freezer, off of my AMG battery that I pretty much annihilated. You know, the thing is, let me get a little comfy here. In this day and age, with all the things going on around us, with all the woke stuff and uh, the violence, and the violence coming from people on the left, um, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, just leftists in general. Um, with the open border when five million people can come across the border in a year or even two years three years even five years that is more people than the entire state of the, the people in the entire state where I live I live in Montana we have almost if not a million people are right at it in the entire state when people are abusing children and taking advantage of kids teachers doctors psychiatrists also they can make more money it kind of affects some of us because we see what's going on and there's nothing we can do about it Like I said, I do dumb crap. Um, a lot of things I see on the news, not even seeing, I don't watch CNN because they're crap. I don't watch MSNBC, ABC, CBS. At one time, I did watch CNN. That was a very long time ago, and let me tell you about CNN. They actually did a story nine or ten years ago about the Ukrainian government bombing, shelling, and killing its own people. They won't talk about that now. They won't talk about what's going on now. Because it doesn't fit a narrative that they're pushing. We all have our own lives. We all have to think about what's best for us. Is there help out there for some people? Absolutely. Me? No. My girlfriend? No. 
and I am so sick and tired of hearing all this race based bullshit if black people want reparations they need to go to Africa and get it from them if black people want reparations or want to hold people accountable for slavery then they need to go after the Democrat Party but Democrats lie plain and simple that's all there is to it and some of the smartest people on the planet are blacks Thomas Sal I would consider Larry Elder is very extremely smart probably much smarter than me but most are dumb they vote for free stuff they vote because they were told Republicans are bad I'm not Republican I don't give a damn about Republicans I sure don't like Democrats I'm conservative the thing is when you help only certain races that's racist when you downgrade certain races that's racist the worst thing that ever happened in this country was affirmative action because black people were told you're not smart enough or skilled enough to accomplish this without us giving you something based on the color of your skin that's wrong it shouldn't have never happened when you go out to apply for a job the person that is most qualified should get that job not the person that walks in and is a certain race or sex gender if you're qualified for it you should get it you shouldn't be overlooked because you're the wrong race you're the wrong sex you know I keep hearing about this pay gap bullshit there's no such thing as a pay gap between male and female if there was not a single man would be employed when they figured up this pay gap crap they just took all men and all women put them together and said men made more money but they didn't figure men work longer hours and more hours men ask for raises more men work harder and higher paying jobs women don't take those jobs generally they didn't figure any of that in but in this day and age all this stuff is lies liberals fall for it Democrats are stupid Republicans are lazy and the thing is we all need help sometimes all of us I don't care if you're black white Indian Hispanic I don't care where you come from what color your skin is we all sometimes need help and is somebody gonna be there to help you you know you've seen some of my videos maybe and if not I don't care you know uh, I never ask for people to subscribe to my stuff I don't ask them to click any bell notification crap because I really don't care if somebody wants to watch my videos great if they don't so be it but everyone from time to time needs help and if you watch any of my videos you will see I have built wood stoves wood cook stoves for homeless people I've given everyone away I ended up buying some more brackets to make more wood stoves I don't have the rest of the materials I can't afford the rest of the materials to make them would I like help doing what I'm doing absolutely but I don't see people standing up and volunteering to help make stuff for 
homeless people. To me, it makes sense. Giving a person a small wood stove that contains that flame makes more sense to me than letting them have an open fire out somewhere where they can cause a real issue and a real fire or get harmed if it gets out of hand. Having that fire contained makes more sense to me. But I don't see other people doing this. I see other people complaining about homeless. I see other people, well, homeless don't deserve anything. You know, they're all drug addicts, blah, blah, blah. You're wrong. Just because somebody's homeless doesn't mean they're a drug addict. Doesn't mean that they're lazy. People fall on hard times. Especially now that the Democrats are running things. People are really falling on hard times. If you need help, ask for it. Don't do stupid crap like me because I'm an idiot sometimes. Um, if you do stupid crap, admit it. I admit it. I do some dumb stuff sometimes. With what I'm doing now, it is dumb. It is 8.30 at night. The sun is not going to be out much longer. And I'm testing my ARB fridge on a battery I think I've already de pretty much destroyed. So, you know, that's kind of dumb on my part. But to me, it's saying if the battery can hold any charge or power anything. Because I have been checking the solar charger controller that's hooked up to this battery and it's gone up to like two bars out of five or four or five and it's steadily held there so I think I destroyed the battery don't be too good to ask for help if you need it don't be too good to admit you made a mistake when you have I know when me and my girlfriend end up end up going over to Rosebud I'm going to need help. And you're going, with what? Well, I have a septic system I'm going to have to dig. By hand. I have to plant a garden. And I know absolutely nothing about growing a garden, especially over there. Um, we had a garden when I was a kid. But I'm 54 years old, and that happened when I was like 8. I don't know anything about the soil over there, what I'm going to need, what will grow over there. So I'm guessing when I buy my seeds. So I'm going to need help if somebody over there actually has a garden and can tell me what I need or what can grow and what can't grow. We all need help from time to time. I don't know if you can hear the ARB fridge here. Now, I do have a couple lights on here. Um, trying to get some extra power, you know, for my light for my phone here. Just because we all do dumb shit, especially me, doesn't mean we're dumb. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes cost us, but we learn from the mistakes. That's what being human is about. You make a mistake, you admit it, and you learn from it. But, sometimes people don't admit when they make mistakes. They double down on it. Like the Democrats are doing now. They've made huge mistakes running this country. They'll never admit it, and they'll never change their course, and they'll double down on it. And in the end, it hurts people like you, people like me. We, we're going to see more homeless on the streets. We're going to see more people out of work. We're going to see the prices of everything going up again. You can thank the Democrat Party for that, and you can thank Democrat voters for that. 
One hundred percent. You know, sometimes it's up to all of us to do what's right. And if that means you as an individual have to step up just to help somebody else, that's what you do. I've been helping this homeless guy over here. I've helped other homeless people. And it has put us in a real bad situation sometimes. We have another cat we're feeding that we can't afford to feed. Uh, Butthead now comes to the door literally three times a day. Usually 5 to 5.30 in the morning. He's at the door. My girlfriend gets up at 6 on some days to get ready for work. And he's right at the door. Then he'll show up sometime in the afternoon. You know, around 1 to 3. Then he'll show up at anywhere from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. One day. I chose to let him in. I chose to feed him. Because that was one skinny cat that needed to, he still needs to eat. Was that a mistake on my part? No. It was not a mistake. I chose to help homeless people. Even though every time I do, it's going to affect us and make our lives a little bit worse. Uh, it takes away money that I could use, possibly fixing up the trailer or, you know, getting something we need. Even buying cat food. Every little thing I buy, even the little brackets, L brackets I bought to make wood stoves once I get more cans, was money I could have used spent on something else. That was a personal choice I made. I don't see race, creed, color. And this may offend some people. I don't care. I am who I am. Somebody asked me what I think about blacks, Hispanics. Well, my answer is boobs are boobs. I like boobs. I'm a boob guy. So, uh, I don't care what color they are. If they're big, I like them. Even my girlfriend jokes about that. Um, we were at Walmart one day, and she taps me on the shoulder, and she goes, Are her boobs, her boobs big enough for you? And it's some old lady, like 80 years old. And the old lady turns around, smiles, and starts giggling. And I'm like, really? You got to pick some like old lady for me to look at? Come on. Thing is, we all make mistakes. We all do dumb stuff. Admit it and move on. If you're a liberal and a Democrat and you voted for the Democrats, admit it and move on. Stop making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Like I said, I'm doing something stupid right now. I am testing my ARB fridge, my Zocop, on a battery I already think I fried. So, it's not the smartest thing for me to do. Let me show you. And then I will stop this video. But, uh, once again. We all need help sometimes. But, I want you to think real hard. No matter how bad you think your life is. There's always someone out there worse off than you. I'm not kidding. I don't know if you can see down there or not. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to see uh, with the way the camera's facing. But I'm going to show you. And even if I get him in the video, uh, you won't be able to see his face or anything because he's too far away. But you could be in a situation like this. I don't, I can't really tell. I don't know if you can see him down there. I don't know if you can see the white bucket down there I gave him for water. Or the purification tablets. See, look at what happened. 
So, yep, I definitely messed up that battery. That one right there. Which means... Oh, crap. I just pulled that out. That, that's really tight. Another mistake on my part. I should have used two hands. Yeah, I did mess up that battery. And you can see I have some water in there. And you can see it was starting to make ice. There is ice. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, me doing something stupid costed us again. Maybe I will learn from my mistakes. Maybe I won't. Because we all do dumb stuff. Just remember, even if you do something dumb, admit it, move on, and next time, try better. Alright, I'm fixing to go. Um, if you didn't notice, I do have another battery down there. Um, that is the battery right there. Uh, I hope you can see it. That's the battery out of my van. Because since I'm not driving my van with bad tires and no brakes, I couldn't see leaving my battery out in there. So I just hooked it up in here. But yep, um, I definitely foobarred that little bitty battery. And the solar even now is bringing 11.5 volts in. I don't know if you can see that. So it is bringing power in. But the battery is just not taking the charge. And yeah. Uh, this is working off my other battery. But the thing is, I also have my lights working off the other battery right now. That one. Once again, a dumb move on my part. But listen. Sometimes, if you need help, all you have to do is ask for it. And if you can help, do it. Don't just think about it. Do it. Because in the end, if the Democrats keep on with their stupid crap and we end up getting in a war with Russia or another country that can actually wipe us out, it's not going to end well for anybody. And we are all going to have to rely on each other for survival. And hopefully, just do what we can do to make the next time better. And liberals and all you black people wanting reparations, um, most people in this country that are white weren't even here during slavery. So stop begging. Seriously, if you want reparations, go to Africa and get it from there because they enslaved your ass and sold your ass. So, stop blaming white people for the problems of your own ancestors because it was literally the British Empire, whites, that freed slaves around the entire world. It wasn't blacks. It was whites, including those slaves in Africa. But yeah, 
I do stupid stupid stuff. I make mistakes. I admit them. Do you? And are you willing to help somebody out in a situation where they may not have any hope or they may not have somebody to rely on? Because remember, if the Democrats keep going the way they're going, the next homeless person out there under a bridge or that needs help could be you. Anybody watching this video. If governments don't change, if voters don't change and start demanding that people start being treated right, you could be out of a job. If you don't align with a, a political party or a woke belief, if you don't believe in that crap, it can cost you your job. Then you can be homeless. Your family can be under a bridge or in a tunnel somewhere or on a park bench. That's the way things are going, and that's the way they have been going. Band together. Everyone, band together that is against all this stuff and say, you know what? Y'all can do what you want, but when it comes down to it, I'm going to help this person. They're going to help me. But you that voted for this and keep pushing this, this agenda, all the stuff you're pushing, you take care of yourself because you're not worth my time you're not worth my energy people that really need help generally don't vote Democrat generally are not liberal and in a country this big with this much money and power we shouldn't have homeless we shouldn't have hungry and when you make a mistake, Democrats, liberals, when you make a mistake, admit it and move on. All right, I'm facing to go. Once again, I've done dumb stuff. It's probably almost 9 o'clock at night, or if not 9 o'clock at night. So the sun is really going down. So I really shouldn't be <laughs> uh, doing this not this light so I definitely know that little battery over here is bad I burned it up I admit it I made a mistake it was stupid on my part and I will definitely make sure all the lights are turned out and my inverter is turned off before I walk out of this camper tonight I had planned on another video um, I actually did this test earlier, but I wanted to talk about some of the mistakes I made. And it's not for views or clicks, because like I only have like 400 subscribers, so it's not for views. And most of my subscribers are not returning. Literally, uh, you can go to the analytics, whatever, and it can tell you who sh who comes back, who doesn't. It's only like 2% of people that are subscribed to me walk, you know, come back. Hey, you know, that's their choice. That's the good thing about America. If you like something, you can watch it. You, you can do it. Unless you're messing with kids, then no. But if you like watching something, you can. You can change your mind a week later. That's the good thing about this country. Like I said, if you can help somebody out, because one day it may be you that needs help, and if you're conservative, or even Republican, if the liberals and Democrats get their way, you're going to be unemployed, you won't have a home, and you won't have anything else. And they're proving it by the bills they're passing and the things they're doing. Alright, I'm fixing to go. Sorry, I am boring. Don't know what to tell you on that, but everybody stay safe, everybody take care of yourself, 
and each other. Alright, bye.